Hi, welcome. I'm Kelly Matthews. I'm a professor of English at Framingham State University, and I'm coordinator of the Liberal Studies Program. So I'm here to welcome you, to tell you a bit about the program. We hope you'll join us either as a Liberal Studies major or as an undeclared major or as a major in another department, but we're very excited to welcome you to Framingham State. As I said, my role is as coordinator of the Liberal Studies Program. It's an interdisciplinary program. I've been in this role for about eight years, so I've gotten to know the program well, and I've gotten to know the students in it very well. And it's a program that I really enjoy working in as an English professor, which is my department, um, but the Liberal Studies Program is an interdepartmental, interdisciplinary major that allows you to mix and match uh, courses from multiple departments, and that's what I really enjoy about it. Um, this is my contact information. Um, my email address is Matthews with two Ts at framingham.edu. That is the best way to reach me. So please feel free to send me any questions at all after you um, hear more about the program or if you just have other questions about Framingham State, I'll be happy to direct you in the, um, in the best, to the best place to get those questions answered. I've been a faculty member at Framingham State for 12 years. Um, I really enjoy it. Prior to working at Framingham, I was um, a professor at UMass Boston, and I was a high school teacher in Boston Public Schools. So I also work in the education department at Framingham. I did my doctorate in Ireland, so I also teach Irish literature classes. I'm a very interdisciplinary thinker myself and work with multiple departments, so I'll do my best to help you find answers to your questions if you feel if you'd like to contact me for anything, any help at all. Um, liberal studies, as I said, helps you work through problem solving and critical thinking using um, complexity and using approaches from multiple perspectives. It is the most flexible major at Framingham State, which is the reason that a lot of people enjoy, um, uh, enjoy this major. And I thought I would show you a brief 30 second video introduction um, just to give you a taste of the program. What I like most about the Liberal Studies program here at Framingham State would be the flexibility. It really allows you to explore different areas. Each student's course of study is really individualized. They pick courses from two or three different departments. You can take a number of courses, say, in, in art and business, which wouldn't be two things that you would normally sort of lump together. My options now are so much wider than I ever thought they would be. So I hope that gave you a very brief introduction. If you, um, you can find a longer three minute version of that video if you go onto YouTube and type in Liberal Studies Framingham State, you'll see a few more um, beautiful views of the campus and a few more voices of students. Even the two students who are featured there give you a sense that um, you know, people come to this program from diverse perspectives and, um, and certainly value the fact that it is uh, the most flexible path to a bachelor's degree that we offer. So it, um, as all bachelor's degrees at Framingham State, it requires 32 courses to graduate. We do not use a credit hour system um, at Framingham, so one course equals one credit. So when I'm saying 32 credits, 32 courses, we use those terms interchangeably. If you think of it in the traditional four-year format, that's you know four, four courses per semester, um, eight courses per year over four years adds up to 32, but people often um, pace that out differently and might take courses over the summer, might take fewer courses in a certain semester, transfer in courses from previous work at community college or at another four-year college or from AP or dual enrollment programs in high school. So we do try to embrace um, prior credits as flexibly as we possibly can. We follow the degree requirements for all majors in that you are required to take 11 courses in general education, or as we lovingly call it, gen ed, um, and that we, and those are in different departments, such as, um, you know, math course, science courses, history courses, literature courses, world languages, um, but then you have the, the chance to take up to 11 electives as a liberal studies major. Um, plus, you specialize in two or three departments as your interdisciplinary focus areas. So that's something that I'll talk with you about as an advisor. I advise all the students in the program, and I help you choose prerequisites to make sure that you get to the upper levels in those departments, because that's how we ensure that this is a rigorous program 
that you graduate with a well-respected bachelor's degree. We frame those courses within the two required courses for the major, Liberal Studies 250 that you take um, around your sophomore year and Liberal Studies 450 that you take in your final year before graduating. Our alumni go on to do lots of different exciting things after this degree program. This is just a sample here of a few of our alumni that have stayed in touch and have told us where they're working. You can see that they're in a range of different fields, range of different industries. Some have combined liberal studies with an education um, degree or license. Others have gone into business, included one person here who's a crew member of JetBlue Airways, others who work in banks, um, or, in, uh, or in government agencies such as the Department of Public Health. Um, so we really do offer an entry point to a wide range of careers. In saying that, we also incorporate the opportunity to pursue an internship. These are independent internships that students pursue with the help of our Career Services Office. But as the advisor for the program, I help make sure that you follow all the guidelines to get academic credit for internships. So we do typically have at least one or two students a semester who are pursuing internships. It's not a requirement, but it's an option and highly encouraged. If you're interested and want to stay um, in contact with us, certainly if you want to enroll, we highly encourage you to uh, submit your deposit as soon as possible. That will help you get all the communication from Framingham State and make sure that you're on time for choosing courses. So I'm going to pause on the screen and chat for a minute or so so that you can hold up your phone and, and if you switch it to camera, you can scan this QR code, which will take you right to the accepted students page where you'll be able to submit your enrollment deposit. That is my last slide. And as I said before, feel free to send me any questions. I'm Kelly Matthews and uh, my email address is here again, but you can find me on the Liberal Studies page within Framingham State. Be happy to help you with anything from here on in and hope that we'll be welcoming you to register for courses soon. Thanks very much and welcome to Framingham State.